This video is not a tutorial on how to use Garmin Basecamp. There are plenty of tutorials available out on YouTube. This video is a review of how I am using the Garmin Basecamp along with my Garmin 760 LMT RV GPS system. Obviously, before you can use Basecamp, you have to download it. Uh, the best way to do that is to just Google Basecamp uh, in their Garmin and then uh, you'll find a page that looks something like this. And you can scroll down and it'll tell you a little bit about it. And at the end, you can download it either free for Windows or a Mac. And there's also an app available, which I'm not sure, but I think it may cost a few dollars. But it's usually only for the portables, I believe. So anyway, once you download it, install it, and then you can start creating routes. And when you launch the Garmin Basecamp application, this is what it looks like. And I've connected my RV760 LMT GPS to the application by just plugging it into the USB port on the computer. And you can see here that the application is recognizing the GPS hardware. As well, you can verify that there's maps on a GPS system that can be used by Basecamp. It is not necessary to connect the GPS system to the uh, Basecamp application, but if you don't, you're not going to get the maps and you'll actually have to download them and that's going to take a long time to do, plus that means you're going to have two versions to keep updated all the time. And for me, just having one set on the GPS system uh, works best, even though that I have to connect to the GPS system to Basecamp to use the maps. When I'm using Basecamp software, for me, I'm just basically going to be making routes. So I really need to explain what a route is. Whenever you plot a course, in your GPS, that is when you select a destination, the GPS device is actually going to dynamically create a route for you from your current location to your destination. So essentially a route is just a collection of waypoints, uh, of turns, of what road you're going on and so forth. So it's actually the path on the map that gets you from point A to point B. Well, that's all well and good, but as we know, in most GPS systems, they are not 100% error-free. I've had situations on my uh, 760 LMT where it's sent me down dirt roads, it's tried to make me backtrack, you know, it's done some goofy things. So, sometimes letting the GPS determine the route isn't the best idea. And that's where uh, Basecamp comes in, because uh, under Basecamp, you can select your own route, you can select uh, what areas to avoid and so on, and so you can precisely determine how you want to get there. As well, by using a PC interface, it's a little more intuitive because it's a graphical interface, and for me at least, it's a lot easier for me to plot a route in the computer than it is for me to try to punch it in uh, on the uh, 760 LMT itself. There are two uh, ways to make a route within uh, Basecamp. One is by using a trip planner, and the other is just directly entering a route. Now, trip planner is really nothing more than just a collection of routes. So we'll get started. And we're going to do a trip planner first, and then we'll just kind of highlight some differences uh, for the routes themselves. So for this trip, we're going to start out in Lansing, Michigan, and we'll just select some area in the suburb there of Lansing, and we're going to go on a camping trip to Warren Dunes State Park, which is along the Lake Michigan shoreline. So from the top menu, we're going to select New Trip, and then it's going to bring this dialog box up, and we're just going to say Two Days, and we're not going to bother with the times or any of that kind of stuff. And we're going to deselect Round Trip because we want this just to be one way, and in fact, when it makes the route, uh, you can take and do the route in reverse. And then we're going to build the trip by selecting Continue. Next, we're going to type in Lansing, Michigan, which is our starting point. Notice though, as I type in Lansing, Michigan, it brings me up a list of options. Now this is a nice feature, but it is a little bit slow. One trick I've learned though, is the area on a map generally has to be visible for you to see all the location options. Now I'm going to type in Warren Dunes State Park, and then when the selection comes up, then I'll simply uh, select that uh, option. So I'm going to click on Start Trip. So here we go. It created a route 
from Lansing, Michigan to Warren Dunes State Park. So now if we look on the left side, there's an added point of interest, which is actually a pretty cool feature. You move this slider along to about where you want to search locally for a waypoint along the route. See this little bullet here? That corresponds to that slider. And as you move the slider, that bullet will move along the route, so that will show you where you can do a search, limited to a specific area. Well, there is a cool aircraft museum in Kalamazoo called the Kalamazoo Air Zoo. So I'm going to search along that route, and we're going to stop off and see the Air Zoo. So I click on Search Along Route, and then I'm going to type in Kalamazoo Air Zoo. We'll wait for uh, the response to show up, and well, there it is. And then we'll select that, and we've got the Kalamazoo Air Zoo. Now it's going to Yelp, and it's going to give you all the information that Yelp has, like favorability ratings and such. Now, one thing I did notice is that you got to be very close uh, with that bullet, with that slider bullet, for you to be able to actually find what you're searching for. So now you see a waypoint was added to uh, the Kalamazoo Air Zoo, and that was added along the route. And so now we have a stopover point on the route so that we can go visit the museum. Now, if you look at the panel to the left, it kind of keeps track of everything. And now we can add a hub if we want to add a return trip or another leg of the journey. So we're going to put in a new destination, and this is for day two, or for at least a subsequent day. This time we're going to go to Holland State Park. So we type in Holland, select State Park, and add the, the trip, and then there we go. It adds another route to Holland State Park from Warren Dune State Park. Now when we exit the Trip Builder screen, you can see in reality it just made two routes. So in other words, a trip is only a collection of routes and waypoints, and so there's nothing magical about trips. It's just that that's how they're organized in Basecamp. They're not organized that way in the uh, GPS system because the GPS system does not understand trips, only routes. Only base camp understands trips, so that's uh, what the distinction is. So let's say I want to make a change to this route here because uh, there are some bad roads there and a lot of congestion, so I don't really like that segment. So we're going to change that part of the route. Oh, I want to change the route uh, from uh, there up to there and over, so I want to go north a little bit and then back down. So the way to do that is you go up uh, to the menu under Tools, and then you select the insert point. You think you do move point, but you actually are going to insert a new waypoint. So when you bring that cursor close to an area between two waypoints, uh, then you'll see that little black line. And let me bring up the uh, map a little bit. See it there? That's actually adjacent waypoints. And when you click on that and drag it, you can actually insert a new waypoint between those two waypoints. So we're going to take and bring that uh, line up to uh, the detour you want, which is going to be, again, uh, right there. And then uh, we'll click on that point, and then we'll drag it over again, click on that point, and now it's created my alternate route. We can also move an existing waypoint uh, while we're editing that by going to Tools and Move, and then we click on an existing waypoint, and then drag it over to where we want it to be, and then uh, it'll snap to the new location and recreate the route again. So when we are done creating the routes in a trip, we want to send it to the uh, GPS device. And so the way that we do that is we go to the uh, top line menu, and then we uh, select send the device, and then uh, send the trip uh, to the Garmin device and then select the device you want to send to and then select OK and guess what? We get an error. The error said there's a problem uh, occur, an error occurred while sending the file to the GPS. Well isn't that nice? So now I'm looking on a Garmin forum and I find the exact error that I had and what it said to do is to export the file uh, and then import the file to the uh, Garmin unit rather than trying to save directly to it. 
the developer here says that he doesn't really understand why it doesn't work, but this seems to work for those people that have that problem. So that's what we're going to try. So now I'm going to export the uh, file to the device by uh, selecting export selection and then saving it to the desktop. And uh, once I get the file name that I want, then click on save. Now I'm going to bring up Windows Explorer and click on RV760. Then click on internal storage, open the GPX folder. And you see where it says current GPX? That is a dynamically created route that's currently being used within the GPX. Now what we want to do is to drag and drop the route that we exported in Basecamp over to this folder on the GPS unit. And this is just like if we exported it directly. If you have this problem, you can run this application as administrator every time you start it by just clicking on the Run Application as Administrator in the Compatibility Panel of the icon. Okay, so now that we've got the uh, route uh, loaded, I'm going to uh, fire up the GPS here and I'm kind of trying to keep an eye on it to make sure it's in focus. So we hit Agree and then all the lawyer stuff. All right. Now, in this case, we want to go to Apps, and then we want to scroll down to Trip Planner. And right there is our trip Please to Warren Dunes. Highlighted route. Okay. Thank you much. Now we see our trip to Warren Dunes State Park here, and go. We want to go to Warren Dune State Park because actually it makes the reverse route if you don't do a round trip. Please drive to highlighted route. Okay, so there we go. So if we, since I'm not in Lansing right now, it's actually going to start from another location. There we go. Now that we created a trip, let's see how easy it is to create just a route. When you create a route, you get this dialog box that you can actually put in your start and stopping points, or you can put in everything manually. So with our insert tool, we're going to expand uh, to where we want to begin, and then we're going to click on that, and then we're going to drag to our first destination. Click on that, which creates a waypoint. And then drag to the next uh, waypoint, and then to another waypoint, and so on until we get to where we want to be. And now we can take the tools and do like we did before. We can uh, move a point, insert a point, delete point, so on. It's just that we're doing everything manually rather than in the, under the umbrella of a trip. So just keep that in mind. That's about the only real difference between the two. Uh, and usually when you do it manually, you're going to have a lot more waypoints in here. So you can kind of make it a little more fine-tuned to what you want. As I hinted in the beginning of this video, Basecamp is a very powerful tool, and I've just hit on the highlights of how I use it just to do routes. But you can do so much more, and I encourage you to download it and see how it works for you.